Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that uses RC to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're in the garage here just assessing the damage on the uh, Arma Creighton 6S that we have in our shop, uh, in our fleet, and uh, just looking at some of the, the damage that's been done to the monster truck before we go ahead and do the repairs. So we've had about maybe 10, 20 packs of batteries run through this brought it to the the BMX park twice to the uh, to the park a couple of times as well just doing some bashing uh, some jumping and the first time out we actually broke a shock shaft uh, and also a bent a shock shock shaft and broke the shock mount over here and uh, went ahead and replaced those with uh, just stock parts there was a suggestion to use a low C8 part number and I tried that but the the actual shock end here uh, I was running into interference problems because of the 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 metal ball here that goes into the ball joint uh, it wouldn't fit into the arm here without some clearancing you can see that it's just just a little bit too wide there so I, I just went ahead and ordered the stock arm parts and you'll also notice that on, on a subsequent run here we we actually started getting some bending from uh, the shock tower and that's probably because we broke the wing mount here this is this is a common ailment common problem with the Creighton is uh, this this needs to be a little bit, bit beefier so this broke off and so we were running at, without a wing and consequently all the all the hits uh, when when uh, the car landed on the top of the vehicle uh, were went to you know all that stress went into the the shock tower itself and the this started to bend you can see here it's bending inwards and what happened was we eventually broke off the the mounting ears so this shouldn't pivot like this and you can see that where the shock uh, tower mounts to the differential case here the ears the plastic ears actually broke off so that's why these screws are hanging out here so we're gonna go ahead and replace the 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 diff case the rear diff case here uh, also the shock tower there have been suggestions to double up the shock tower for increased strength uh, this this unit just doesn't seem to be it seems pretty thick, but I, I, it looks like a, a pressed material or a stamped material instead of a machined material. So I uh, might try doubling up the shock towers. I'll go ahead and hammer this one straight. I also have uh, an extra replacement shock tower. Um, definitely give Arma support uh, in the U.S. The, their subsidiary of Habaco. Excellent part support. Uh, just excellent people to deal with. I, I, I got replacement parts shipped out right away. Uh, they were they were very quick about that. Um, I also ran into another common problem here. Let me flip the vehicle around here. Another common known issue was the first generation of of um, of hub carriers here. You can see a crack forming right here, and uh, I did get the second generation or you know second version replacements from Arma those will be going in as well this is this is a known weak area um, but uh, you know other than that it, you know this is an eighth scale uh, monster truck or truggy some might call it um, you know months mixed between a monster truck and a buggy it is eighth scale buggy based and uh, just I, I'm just curious to see what parts actually interchange here this the the, the Arma folks uh, are the same company as, as Team Durango so uh, they have a new buggy that's uh, that's basically uh, shares the same platform as this and so I'm wondering if some of the parts will change over like the shock towers it looks like the ones with the the um, the Team Durango kit are, are a better uh, better quality there uh, look like it looks like they're machined out of aluminum versus stamped or pressed so they should be more durable but uh, we'll go ahead and do those fixes so I actually experienced the the um, the aim the uh, common problem with the the speed controller where it just went up in a in a puff of smoke and stopped working again I, I just uh, sent that into Arma and they sent me a replacement so we'll go ahead and get all the electronics back into 
the the crate in here and uh, get back going. So hopefully uh, a couple parts are still on back order. I just just uh, just ordered a new body as well as uh, a new wing mount. So hopefully uh, those will be coming in soon. Um, so that's pretty much it here. The only modification I did was putting 200,000 weight diff oil into the center diff uh, with uh, with the stock oil. It uh, you know it just wasn't getting a lot of power to the uh, the back there, especially running off of six cells uh, or six S. Um, most of the power would just bleed to the the front end, the front differential. So just put a little bit thicker fluid in the center diff, and that that actually helped out a lot in, in terms of the handling of the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and get those replacement parts uh, put in and. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us and also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash racing the number two learn. Thank you.